this joker right here. Out here snowing and he's riding in the snow. So we are on our way to a Peru Creek Trail and we're going over Loveland Pass on uh, 6 West and it is snowing like crazy and it's June 17th. Yeah, like white out. Can't even like see past the road. It's crazy. Kind of snow. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, it is really cool. It's pretty. It is definitely pretty. So this is a map of the trail that we took, the exact trail. Um, so as you can see, uh, Peru Creek Trail goes off of Montezuma Road and then goes through and at the very end of the trail is Argentine Pass Trailhead. There is a gate down there and it is closed. You can still hike it, but you can no longer have motorized vehicles on it. Um, and I don't think there's any plan to open it back up in the future. And you can see up north we have Chihuahua Lake four-wheel drive trailhead. Um, I looked at it and I thought about going up it, but my wife was not impressed. Uh, it is very skinny. I mean, you could, if you're not afraid of Colorado pinstripes, by all means, it's a great trail and it'd be a great ATV trail. And there's also another one to the south of the uh trailhead there or not the trail but not the trailhead but the trail it is a uh it was also even skinnier than the other one and i knew i was going to get colorado pinstripes on that one so i did not take either one of them because we did this trail in my 2023 toyota tacoma and uh, it's stock, brand new, and I did not want to get a scratch on it just quite yet, at least any bad scratches, and we didn't have anyone coming with us, so, and those other two trails are, I believe, a more moderate trail. So Peru Creek Trail, it was about 4.66 miles, uh, the route we took. And it is easy. It's not a very hard trail. It is rocky and bumpy, but they don't call it the Rocky Mountains for nothing, right? And uh, our max elevation was 11,148, and our minimum elevation on this trail was 10,007 foot. I mean, it was pretty good weather that day after it quit snowing. And I mean, it was really cool to go through the snow, but... Uh, our average temperature that day after the snow went away was uh, 67 to 68 degrees. It's kind of creepy looking. You know there's stuff over there, you just can't see it. Well, it's snowing on us up here at Loveland Pass. Can't even see like anything. It's like a whiteout. It almost looks like a whiteout. Yeah. You can't see real far and the flakes are huge. And there was just some hikers that passed us covered in snow. It was kind of funny. And all the cars just kind of stopped up here at Woodland Pass. I guess they're hiking or something. At the entrance of uh, Peru Creek area or trail, um, still snowing, still June 17th. <laughs> Hopefully this will be a good time. I'd like for the snow to let up. That'd be nice, but we will sh we will see. So.
You ready for your first wa your first water crossing? You mean second water crossing? Well, <laughs> it's the same one you did. Oh, just, okay. We're doing it again. You ready? Yeah, go for it. You did such a good job, babe. Good job. You made it. So if you stay on 260, the first mine you pretty much come to is a Pennsylvania mine. Or at least the first one that we noticed. There probably was others, but it's so foggy and cloudy today that you really can't see much. The sun is finally starting to come out and the snow finally quit. So we might get the drone around and fly it for a second. Take a look at Pennsylvania mine.
it's funny, right after I got done shooting this scene with the drone, uh, I went above the mine, and as I was trying to land it, I accidentally hit the roof of the mine, and it crashed and fell off the roof, and luckily landed right on a snow pile, and it was good to drive again. Aerial power on this deal. This is Cinnamon Gulch. Yeah. I don't know about that. I agree. I don't know if we're big enough to be doing that. Considering we're riding by ourselves, we better not. You want me to end this or just go back? So we just got done with Pennsylvania Mind, and we were going to try to continue up Cinnamon Gulch, uh, but that's not going to work. It's still too much snow. I would say there was probably three to four foot of snow in the middle of the trail, and without somebody here with us, we, uh, we figured it's probably best to just go ahead and turn around and keep going down the, uh, the intended trail. So. up to the uh, entrance of Argentine Pass which is now closed to uh, vehicles but it is definitely beautiful up here Argentine Pass, and then I was standing right over there a second ago. Let's take a closer look into this mine. Let's hop on some big rocks. Alright, so there's the mine entrance. It's clearly blocked off, but uh, it's kind of cool. It's definitely a can believe the end of it. It goes way back there. Got all the snow melt. You have all this uh, 
the water here is definitely, you can tell it's mineral rich or maybe had some pollutants from it from the mining days. But, pretty neat. So the mine is up here. You know, I haven't heard anyone really talk about this part of it. I'm sure if I had read the right article, they would say it was here, but that's pretty cool. So that was me and Rachel's adventure down uh, Peru Creek. Uh, if you were just in a, even an ordinary pickup, I saw several just ordinary pickups down there uh, making it with no problem. And if you were looking to do some of the more difficult trails, I would definitely suggest an ATV or maybe a Jeep. But we had a wonderful time and it's definitely a beautiful trail. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.